It's your man Jay Gray's report. We hanging out with Warren Central, the Warren Central Warriors. We got Coach Jason West in the building. The team, in my opinion, that should have been playing for a state championship last year, but that's a whole nother story. So now, how let your boy tell me, Coach, what are you looking forward to this season? Uh, after coming off of, of season last year where you were one of the best teams in the conference, but just didn't get over the hump. Well, that's just, you know, it's how it goes in this state like, with, with the draw, how it is. Um, you know, but we can't lay around feel sorry for ourselves. No one else is going to, so we just got to pick it up, keep moving, just like life. And so that's why I love sports. It teaches them that you don't always get what you want. And that's, you know, the message we keep sending. And, and, and if you just keep working hard, maybe it'll happen for you the next time. You know, there's no guarantees when you play sports, when you, when you play the game of life, whatever. So that, we just try to make it everything life, you know, tangible. We try to keep putting this in the real world. And, and these kids have done a great job of that. And it's, it's really a wonderful group of young men. You know, they're good in the classroom, they're good good in the school, good in the community, they, they like each other. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're having a lot of fun together right now. Coach, you got like 40 seniors, so you got a veteran lead led team. Talk to me about what that's going to do to help you guys be a better team this year with all these seniors. Well, we keep telling large groups of seniors can either be an advantage or a disadvantage because you know, all of them really aren't going to get a play. You get to play 11. So you have to have a strong group that loves each other, that plays for each other, that runs scout team, that has all those little things that gets the sideline up, whether you're in or whether you're not, whether you're the star, or whether you're, you know, you're not. It, it doesn't matter. You're supposed to be a senior and, and a warrior. And that, if we can do that and our leaders keep training that in the locker room and on and off the field, you know, I, I, I like this group. You know, but if we, if we things don't go our way, you lose one or two, something's not on the field, you know, the teams can dissolve just as quickly as they, they can rise. So we want to make sure that we keep that, you know, the main thing, the main thing, and that's the message on the daily that, that you know, it's an it's a accumulation of the whole, not the individual parts. What's, what's the philosophy that you guys have been preaching to these kids during the offseason and during camp? What are you guys living by? Basically, you know, we, life's hard, and, and you got to do the right thing. If you keep doing the right things, the right things will happen. And, and you know, it may be small, may be big, but just keep living life the right way. You know, attack life every day because you don't know how long you got. You know, we tell them you got a small dash in time that you're going to be on this planet and yep. in this program, and that you need to use it very wisely. And uh, I think these kids are, are exceptional. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I think they, they heed that message. They're awesome. And they support all their sports. They go to all the games. The pit's yeah. always live. I mean, you've seen it. Pitt is the best in the, in, in the area. Yeah, I mean, Warren Central's a hidden sick, a secret. As long as many people know about it, they don't really know about it. They just assume about it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. That when you look around here, it's beautiful. The campus is wooded. The facilities are amazing. The school's amazing. Uh, you know, so they, they have a lot of opportunities here. So we keep preaching on the opportunities. Do the right thing. Yeah. Pick up with a good attitude. No attack like this. Ain't nobody going to give you anything. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. You guys had a huge school year last year, two state championships in girls basketball, boys basketball. Now you guys are showing up with a lot of expectation. How much pressure is it on these kids to, to do the three-peat and win a state championship? <laughs> it's more fun for them because it's, it's not a pressure for them because they really care about each other. It's more they root for each other. Yeah. I mean, you can't put any more pressure on yourself. Than, than, you, know, you can put the most amount of pressure on yourself. Anybody else that wants to add pressure to you really don't matter. Sports. Yeah. And, and, and people will uh, rise to the challenge and cave into that pressure. So it is uh, something that, that the best thing about it, it shows it's possible. So if you play as a team, if you work hard, you play for yourself, you get a few bounces, things can go your way. And so that's the main thing we're taking. Both of those basketball teams yeah. did an outstanding job. And, and I think you know a lot of our boys are on that team and, and, and at that game and all the games. Yeah. They, they support each other here well. Now, who are some of the guys? Obviously, we got the incomparable David Bell. Everybody knows about him. He's a big-time recruit. Everybody's chasing him. But what other players do you have that you're going to be leaning on this year that a lot of folks aren't really uh, checking for? Well, you know, the offensive guys get a lot of uh, a lot of pub. But, uh, you know, we got we got a, a good young line that, you know, if they stick together and keep improving, I really like a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but um, – I, I, I really like to talk about defense a little bit. I think yep. Gabby Miner and Rondell Boyd have stepped up, and Marquise Cross and Randy Wells are sophomores who started last year for mm -hmm. us. You know, uh, I, I have stepped up. Our DBs and the Carruthers brothers have really started to mature and grow as players. Um, you know, and Christian Hastings, who's committed to Indiana State. So there, there's some pieces over there, you know, that are, you know, Caleb Thompson and Ron Gill in, in the middle, and that do a, a really good job of applying pressure and the rest of that crew. So, you know, and, and all, you know, the O line and the perimeter guys, like I said, 
they get a lot of a lot of pub offense does, you know. So yeah. just want to give a little shout out to D today. <laughs> I think they I think they deserve it, and you're going to talk to some of the offensive guys, I'm sure. So yeah, um, I'm excited to see what they do. And you know, like Jace Ramirez, our kicker, he's here single every single day, never misses a day. Works hard at his craft, and he's you know improved a lot. So you know, we got a lot of kids that do a lot of different things here, and, and that's why I love football. It's, it's really one of the last team games left, and it takes a lot of people to buy into that team concept. Right. To you know, as great as David is, can't win any game by himself. You know, you got to play as a team, and, and I think that's you know the most beautiful thing about our sport. Well, coach, it kicks off next week. Got a big mm -hmm. ball game yeah. down at Center Grove. I'll be there. That'll be the Jay Gray's report game of the week. Yeah, so good. good luck to you this season. It was great talking to you. Oh, thanks for having me.